going to make some cheese straws, another good little hors d'oeuvre to go with a glass of wine and actually beer would be good with this. In my food processor, I have one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese and I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour and six tablespoons of cold butter and I cut it into cubes, a pinch of salt, and just a touch of chili powder or cayenne, whichever you happen to like. Now we're going to pulse it until it's all combined. one and a half tablespoons of milk. It doesn't seem like a lot of milk, but it will hold together because of all that butter. And you just kind of have to be patient with this until it all comes together as a dough. And there we go. Now, a little bit of flour on my counter. dough, my rolling pin, and we're going to roll this until um, about 12 inches by 8 inches. And now I'm going to add something to these and not just keep them plain. I'm going to add something called nigella seeds. Nigella seeds are onion seeds. They're also been called black cumin. You can find them in uh, Indian or Mid uh, Middle Eastern markets. You must have some somewhere near you. And uh, they go by different names. In the Middle Eastern markets, I found them to be called Baraka. Anyways, these have a mild taste, and it's been called like a combination of onion, black pepper, and a little bit of oregano. It's, it's a nice, pleasant taste, and it makes the cheese straws look even better, too. And just sprinkle them on, and roll them in so they stick. Now I'm going to cut them into strips and we're going to put these on little sheets that have no, no grease on them, nothing, no parchment paper, just plain sheets. And about half an inch thick. And if these tend to get brittle on you and fall apart, don't worry about it. Just patch them together. And my oven is going to be on at 350 degrees and they're going to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. You just have to keep checking the oven. And these are so, so good. And you first taste and you say, oh yeah, they taste good. And then a couple minutes later it's I gotta have another one of those. This might also be good dipped in the rabbit sauce too. Now, we'll do a little offset spatula and we'll loosen these up. Start putting them on my tray. And just space them out. They don't um, expand a lot, so about an inch apart. One sheet. You can very easily double this recipe if your food processor can handle the capacity. Two sheets. And then the last sheet for the scraps. Those are for me munching on later on. 
I might share some with Pam. Some seeds on those. And off into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Check them at 10 minutes and just keep checking them. They will puff up slightly and they will get um, a golden brown. You'll just smell the cheese throughout the entire house. 